Well, hey y'all, it's Debbie, your girl with pearls. Happy fall. Today, I'm going to decorate the mantle. And um, this is the room in my house that's still New England. It's very country, um, and I just can't part with it. I just love it. It makes me feel warm and cozy. But there's a lot of reds and deep burgundies, hunter greens. It's great for Christmas, but not so great for fall. So I've decided I've used a lot of color in um, other parts of my home, but today I'm going to keep this very monochromatic. Um, I've decided to use uh, the white tones in here because I just think it's going to pop and it's going to be soothing. And this is the room that we watch TV in. So I just want to keep everything all uh, monochromatic. So what I did already, because I didn't want to have to climb up on a ladder in front of y'all, um, is I put my um, tobacco basket up there. That used to be over on uh, above my shelf that I had repurposed. But you're going to see why I did this. I had some candlesticks that were on my Ethan Allen table. And the undertones were kind of the same color as the tobacco basket but like my family knows me, I paint everything. So I shabbied them up and um, you're gonna see them when I put them up and they match the tobacco basket. I thought it's gonna be so pretty up here. But before I start, I've gotta just give this a wipe down. Uh, from taking the wreath down that was up there, there's, there's a big old mess on there. So I'm gonna clean that up and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna start decorating. Okay, so here's my candlesticks, and they used to be that deep tone of brown, kind of a, I'm going to call it like a cinnamon or nutmeg color, but I wanted it to match the tobacco basket, so I used um, some white chalk paint and dry brushed it, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's going to look great up there. So I'll get out of your way so you can see. See how the tones match? Let's see if I can get them both in view. And now I'm just gonna put my battery operated candles on there because I like the ambiance at night. That's going to be pretty. Okay, so I have decided instead of using fall leaves, I'm going to use this. It's kind of got that gray green. This is from Hobby Lobby. And my son and husband were generous enough <laughs> for my birthday to give me a gift certificate, and I was able to get a couple of strands of these and a few other wonderful things 40% um, off. Just look at the tones with the candlesticks. Isn't that going to be pretty? So fall doesn't necessarily have to be um, orange and golds and reds as much as I have those in the rest of my house. Um, you can really work with this and just watch and see what I do. So first So I'm just placing this one, and I'm going to use two of them because I want the fullness. And I will fuss with that later once I get everything placed. Okay. Now I'm going to use this 
willow vine. See, it's got little leaves and berries. I actually got this in Maine years ago in that little store that I always mention that I love. And um, it went with my country theme and look, but it's definitely so great to use for fall. So I'm just gonna make this real wispy and willowy and I want it to hang off. It's almost like curly willow. And you'll see once I get a I hope you can see what I'm doing. So this is what I'm doing. I'm going to use these white pumpkins on either side. Now see how pretty that looks, that monochromatic with the wood tones and then the curly willow and then this pretty gray green. And I'm just gonna stick two smaller pumpkins right here in the middle. And then on either end, I have two different types of pumpkins. Let's just move over here. going to snug them in and I'll do the same on the other side. Now I'm going to go back in with more and kind of And just a few more. Okay, so in person it doesn't look messy. In person it actually looks woodsy, um, more nature, and that's kind of the look that I'm going for. I'm gonna take it down so you can see it close up, but it really looks great. And I'm just loving that gray-green tone with the white and the twiggy look. It looks like the pumpkins are growing in the field. Some vines are growing up and around them. And then the tobacco basket up there. Now, I've got a wreath that I'm making for the tobacco basket and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. 
and this matches the two garlands that I put on the fireplace. Um, and I'm going to use it because it, the background um, is going to be the tobacco basket. But I wanted to bring um, some white up there as well. I decided to do to use these little white clip-on pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. They're a dollar for three, and I'm just going to incorporate them in the wreath. So they've got the little clip on like that. I'm using five of them and I'm just gonna clip them on. And then I'm using a burlap with white polka dotted bow. And um, I'm gonna call it done and then I'll show you when I hang it. Just a great pop of white and it brings the pumpkin up there as well onto the tobacco basket. So I'm really happy with how cute that turned out. So there it is all finished and I am thrilled with how it came out. And here's a view of the candles lit in the evening. Great ambiance. Well, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. And if you hit the little bell, you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day.